So yesterday after Roger spoke, Hub Arkush posted a column on Shaw Media apologizing for his comments. In part, it said, quote, I made a terrible mistake. It was completely my fault. There was no one else to blame, and I am here to try and apologize. To Aaron Rodgers, you are one of the greatest players of this generation and one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Whether or not you are this year's MVP is up to the 50-member panel, neither me nor my critics. I couldn't possibly be more sorry for dragging all of this into my mess, and I hope you will accept my apology. All right. Again, a lot to unpack here. So while Arkushi is apologizing for his earlier comments, Dan, do you believe the criticism of Rodgers is still fair? No. First of all, his apology falls on deaf ears because he's just mad or apologizing that his feelings were made public. Number two, he should not be allowed to vote for the MVP ever again. Ever again. That should be revoked from him. You should be thankful that you get to vote for the MVP. That is rare air that you get to have an opinion and or judge upon. No one asked you, not a single person asked you to share what your thoughts are about Aaron Rodgers as a person or a human being. The MVP is, a, is there an award that is voted upon about, about the person's performance on the field that they earn. In the NFL, we actually have a thing that you can vote on when it comes to a person's character, integrity, or what you believe about them. That's called the Walter Payton Man of the Year. If he doesn't want to vote for Aaron Rodgers in regards to that, that's fine. And that's probably justified given what the criteria is. The MVP is about what you do on the football field. Right now, this writer sounds jealous that Aaron Rodgers can do things that he can never do nor never fathom about doing and he's judging Aaron Rodgers by Aaron Rodgers actions and himself by his mm -hmm. own intentions the criticism of Aaron Rodgers hasn't been fair and this writer should never be allowed to vote for the MVP again wow. Dan let me take it a step further um, this is BS in my opinion because yeah. What you're affecting is legacy. Correct. And Dan, yeah. you and I both know this. Legacy means a lot to former players. You know, because listen, at, at the end of the day, when we're done playing and all those type of things, you know, that's what that's what we remember for. We remember for our legacy, what, what, what we've done on the field. And for this guy to come out and 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 inject his personal personal biases or his personal feelings towards Aaron Rodgers as it relates to right. vote, the MVP voting, it's wrong. It's wrong. And you're right. He should, be, he should have his credentials revoked as far as that 100%. is concerned. But I think it also, this also goes to a bigger place here because I think over the years where you talk that whether you're talking about MVP voting or Hall of Fame voting, Dan, yes. we've heard many cases where writers have, have, have in, you know, injected their personal feelings as far as players getting into Chris the Hall Carter. of Fame. Yeah. Yes, the, the list goes on and on. And so, again, I just say this means a lot to play. Players, you know, have been play, f playing since Little League all the way up until their pro career, just preparing and, and, and getting to this moment. And then to go out there and play at that higher level to be considered the MVP or be considered for the Hall of Fame, it doesn't get any bigger than that. And for individuals in this process through the, who are in the media, not, you know, not play the game, but in the media that are somehow determining whether a guy has, you know, had these credentials as far as their legacy is concerned. I think it's appalling, man. And I just think that more light needs to be brought onto this process. Yeah. And it should become kind of transparent of when you vote, why are you voting or why are you not? There should be a justifiable reason. It's almost like the hiring process, right? Woody, like make it very transparent of why are you making those choices? I would like to know, how, I, I'm not trying to be a jerk by any means. How does this writer have an MVP vote? An MVP vote, like what has he done or, or accomplished to have that MVP vote? And now this brings in to question everybody that's gonna vote for the MVP. Yeah. You know, if, if, if this writer was so forthright in saying, I'm not going to vote for him because I don't agree with the things that he does 
off the field, how many others are like that, potentially? And if Aaron doesn't win the MVP, whether you think he's worthy of it or not on the field, it's going to bring into question everybody that votes in this process and maybe some of their biases. Are there going to be people who don't vote for him for the same reasons? Are there going to be people who vote for another guy that they might not necessarily feel is worthy of it on the field, but because they align with the same type of views or values? Again, I'll, I'll reiterate, he should never vote for the MVP again, and this should force a transparency because this is a big deal, Wood. Like, we're voting for the MVP yeah. of the NFL. There's one of these every single year. Mm -hmm. And this is, to your point, this impacts guys' reputation and legacy and their ability to kind of get into the Hall of Fame. I don't think it'll affect Aaron's, but he should never vote for the MVP again. And he should be embarrassed by it. Yeah, well, Dan, you asked about how people get the – ability to have an MVP vote. I, I don't know the answer to that, but just as far as Arkush is concerned, he's the editor of Pro Football Weekly, also contributes to other Chicago area media. So, uh, again, that's that's what he does, and and he has been given that vote for the reason. I do not know why. Given but, uh, that vote is a good phrasing, Charlie. He was given that vote. I don't think he's done anything to earn that vote. Fair enough. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.